Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we are here because Mr. Gearheart himself did tag us in the new uh, Pokemon tagging trend that is uh, wants to battle so we'll say Sharp Dress Gaming wants to battle and this was created by Bird Keeper Toby the man himself let's bow down to him <laughs> uh, Bird Keeper Toby did create this and uh, the the uh, GFX for the title screen and I may have it on the screen somewhere around me I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing around me uh, is Chessman Jr. 98. I believe we'll be having a VGC battle going, so if you guys want to watch that, uh, for those of you who haven't been to this channel before, I mainly do VGC content. I do some other stuff too with Pokemon. Uh, so if this is your first time and you feel like it, uh, be sure to go check out some videos there. But we're going to go through these questions that the, uh, Bird Keeper Toby created for the Pokemon community to answer. Um, so let's see here. First question. How did you get that mascot? I assume the mascot that I have. Um, oh, sorry, it's shaky. I'm still on my bed, you know. We're still getting the setup going. I uh, gotta wait so we can get it like an actual solid surface to be using. But we're on the bed right now. But uh, how did you get that mascot? Well, for those of you who haven't been the ch around for the channel, <laughs> those of you who haven't been on the channel for a while, around the channel for a while, um... My first mascot was the uh, d d d d d Dandy Trim Furfro, Shiny Dandy Trim Furfro, and I picked that because it fits with the channel name, obviously, but I just didn't really have an attachment to it. I was like, Furfro, Furfro, I was just throwing the Furfro mascot around in my layouts, and I'm like, I really don't care about this thing. Uh, Furfro's fine, I liked it for a little bit, but I was like, yeah, I just don't care. And then, um, after a while, I just got tired of it, I'm like, you know what, I want to have my favorite Pokemon be my mascot, like a lot of these other PokeTubers do, uh, and they love their mascot, and I'm like, I want that connection with my mascot, so I picked my favorite Pokemon, Magmar, and you know, just throw a top hat on, and put a little bow tie on, or not bow tie, I put a full tie on, on him, or had my, my artist do that for me, and I've loved him ever since, but fire the Magmar, uh, and as you can see, we did just get a new animated intro with spit vi spire th spit fire thrown around pokeball and stuff uh made by the british sonic which he'll also be in the description so be sure to check him out um some other i actually had a few other ideas for mascots king kelder was one of them when i was first thinking up stuff um i'm trying to think what else i might have used i know king kelder was a big contender for a while because you can just put a little bow tie on him it would have just been a bow tie if it was king kelder though he wouldn't have had a top hat um, I think that's it. I know I thought about changing it to Mega Mawile, because that's my favorite Mega. Speaking of, ugh, I keep forgetting it. It's over there, and I don't want to get up and shake the bed around and stuff. My plush Mega Mawile. Or Mega Absol was another was another possible option. Uh, But yeah, that's how I got my mascot. I've been rambling. I keep putting my hands up like next to my mouth. i got to try not to do that, because I'm not used to face cams, so... Because I haven't done it in a while. Respond to your most popular comments. I don't really have most popular comments. Um, I love when I get comments, so you guys be sure to be leaving them so I can read them. But there's a lot of great battle. Um, I know one of my favorite commenters is Frozen Colrus. If you're watching this video, I love your comments, man. Thanks for coming out and supporting. And you actually like talk about the, the battles and stuff, so that's really cool. Thank you. A lot of people saying good job lately. Um... That I have to have more subscribers, which I mean, if you want to help, you can subscribe. But um, my favorite comment that I remember personally in my head to this day is from one of my TCG videos. It's the Mega Agron EX deck, um, and he just went off about how I pronounce Agron. It like I don't even know how he was trying to tell me to pronounce because he put I think capital A hyphen Gron and then lowercase a hyphen ground or e g g r o n i was saying it as i don't know he's like it's agron not agron or something like that i don't know he was just so mad about it and i'm just like dude it's a made up poke it's a made up name calm down <laughs> I, well i said it really nicely though i was like uh well thank you for the correction but it's a made up na no i said well, it's a made-up name, so excuse me for mispronouncing it or something like that. It's it's on the video. It's like my number four most-watched video. I was like, thank you for coming out and checking out the video, though. 
That's my that's my favorite comment. I'm not sure if it's my most popular. But uh, question three: What was your best Pokemon moment of 2015? The one that sticks out in my head uh, is a Pokemon moment or Pokemon video. Let me see. I think there's a one specifically for video, isn't there? Um, one second, guys. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. There is a, there's a separate one for video later. My best Pokemon moment of 2015, though. Oh, when I went... Wait, was that 2015? Yeah, it was earlier this year. Uh, when I went to Pokemon Regionals uh, for VGC in Madison, Wisconsin, and I ended up taking 46th out of 224 players, I believe it was, and that was my first time ever... Like, that was my first uh, video game championship tournament. And I was using Mega Metacham. And I just remember, like, doing the blogs for that day and tweeting about it. And that was actually the first time I ever uh, got my own hotel room, too, so that was really cool. I mean, it was okay. I had to spend money, which wasn't fun, but it was like, I'm an adult. I'm getting my own hotel room. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, using Mega Metacham and High Dragon was just pulling through. That day made Mega Metacham and High Dragon two of my favorite VGC Pokemon. Uh, because Hydreigon was just Dark Pulse and the crap out of everything. And, and Metacham was just punching things to death. It was great. I, I had a lot of fun. Met a lot of people. It was really cool. Um, what do you think the next mainstream Pokemon game will be and why? Pokemon Z. Do we have to go on? Like, they can pull the twist. Everybody's been saying, oh, they could do X2 or Y2 or X squared and Y squared if they want to be like X, I don't know, math stuff. But I don't think they'll do that. I think they will do Z. Of course, there's a... Because they could have went with gray, with black and white. But they didn't. But we already saw... We already have seen that Zygarde isn't becoming, like, white Hiram and black Hiram. Which is what brought those about. But he has his own, like, alternate forms and stuff. Sure, they could do XYZ like they're doing with the anime. But I think it'll just be Z. Uh, or Z. Um... I was going to say something else along the lines of that subject. Z, 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 Oh, uh, one of, before the whole uh, Zygarde getting its own evol- uh, forms or whatever, I saw somebody say, what if they did Mega Y? I think this was before Oris even. What if they did Mega Y, and, or Mega X and Mega Y? And I was like... But and then like they gave Zygarde the two mega evolutions, Zygarde X and Zygarde Y. But obviously they're not doing that. So Pokemon Z. In, in long story short, um, what can your viewers expect in 2016? Now this is a big one, uh, which kind of brings us into an update video, which is really nice. Um, of course, like I've told you guys many times, my I will be having a room to myself come 2016. Uh, actually, at the end of this week, I will be having a room to myself. So I want to get the channel back on a schedule like I had it earlier this year. Earlier this year before I moved uh, moved away from home. So I want to get it on a schedule. So those video. <laughs> Sorry, there's somebody with a loud motor outside. Uh, those so I can have videos out every day. Um, and then, like, bulk record a lot of stuff. Uh, you, of course, you'll be seeing VGC 2016. I've been getting super excited. I don't know how many of you guys watched the, the rule uh, video that I made about the rules for VGC 2016. I wasn't super excited, but I'm getting a lot more excited. I've been watching a few people's videos on the metagame. And it's not entirely what I expected it was going to be, which, obviously, but it, it looks like a lot of fun. So, VGC 2016 is going to be on the channel. I want to bring just, like, showdown videos uh, with people I know on, uh, YouTube, uh, joining me with singles battles, that kind of stuff, because I haven't done singles battles exclusively on the channel in a while. Leagues, leagues are popping up all the time. We're in the Delta League right now, which will be going until 2016, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it obviously will be. And then I also have another league, the Pokemon Global League, which will be starting up 2016. A lot more Let's Plays. I've been getting back into Let's Plays, so... And TCG. I really want to bring TCG back. My my uh, partner in crime for TCG has been making a lot of decks. He's like, try them out, dude. They're really fun. And I'm like, besides Mateau, and he's like, do it. I'm like, all right. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing it soon. Um, I actually found a Camera FDX deck that I really want to try out. But 
no, another long-winded answer to your question that you probably didn't want to care about. What advice would you give to someone starting out on YouTube? Um, of course, all of the generic stuff, find community, find all that stuff, all great stuff. My personal, um, blah, 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 personal, what am I trying to say? My personal, uh, blah, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say here. My thing that I think about when I started YouTube was, why am I doing this? And I think I got this from Shady Penguin. Uh, you should have at least two reasons why you want to be doing this. And neither one of them can be fame or money. Because that's not what you start YouTube for. That's something you may stumble into. Which is all fine and dandy if you're able to do that. But um, find two, at least two reasons that you're doing YouTube. And then then uh, aim for those things. And, it, and it'll be lucrative for you. Mine... My biggest ones were to entertain. I love entertaining people. Um, I've done... I play music. I've done comedy shows. I've done plays. I've done all this stuff. I love entertaining people. And this is my easiest outlet to do so. Um, because I know what the subject is going on. And I can just do it whenever I want. I don't need to like be in a show or find some venue to do that in. I can just make a video whenever I want to. And my second reason is to educate. Entertain and educate are the big two um, vocal points for Sharp Dress Gaming. Because uh, Pokemon's Pokemon is one of the things I know very well, um, or I at least try to know very well. Of course, I still make mistakes. Uh, and there's like a few other things in life, like music I kind of know, and animals I know a lot about. And, but Pokemon's the one that I've gotten really in-depth into, and I'm like, I just want to share this with people. So, so I made my channel, guys. So, that's why I say, find two main focal points why you want a YouTube channel, and strive for those things. If it's meet new people, perfect. That's You can do that here, too. Uh, get Twitter if you're doing that, by the way. And, and, and Skype. Skype and Twitter, you need those. <laughs> uh, there's just because you want to make videos... Be because you want to get better at Pokemon, all this stuff. Just find two things and stick to those. And you'll 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 get far, kid. You'll go far, kid. Uh, what has your favorite Pokemon video of 2015 been? This is the one I was going to answer before. But it's... Uh, I think it's Emerald. Pokemon Emerald, was it? Yeah, it was Pokemon Emerald. Uh, Num Nexus's Pokemon Emerald Moemon Nuzlocke. Uh, he has a, I think it's Emerald. It's gonna, I'm gonna be playing it, like, over the screen, uh, right after I'm done explaining it. And the link will be in the description for the video. But he had a Pelipper, which, if you don't know Nexus, he loves Pelipper. And it did end up dying at one point. And the reaction to it was the best thing ever. And I'm gonna play it right now, check it out. And now we got the very adorable Makuhita here. This thing, if it just, yeah, this thing is fat. This thing is fat. All right, don't set up my face. All right, you just gotta go. You gotta go. Stop! Why you do so much damage though? Hop up. That that noise and the, going into the uh, lifestyle song, I just laughed so hard. There's been so many great Pokemon videos, obviously, but this is the, that's the one that whenever I think of like funny Pokemon moments, I always just right there, right there. Um, what uh, did I already read that? Recommend a tuber with less subscribers than your audience will love. TK1833. If no wait, sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Toxic Tiki. He changed his channel. Uh, he does have 1833 still, but his main channel is short, slowly but quickly becoming Toxic Tiki. Um, for those of you who don't know Tiki, he is, I'd say, my best friend on YouTube's. Probably even best friend all around. So, I I love that guy. I haven't we need to talk. I haven't talked to him in a minute. But uh, he's got amazing videos. Real funny guy. Just keeps it right here, right down to earth, you know. And he's starting to branch out a little bit more out of Pokemon, but he's still got that Pokemon in his heart. So, be sure to go check him out. I'll leave him in the description as well. And I have to recommend. Nope, I already did that. I have to remember to tag three people. Now, of course, we're gonna tag Toxic Tiki. I think. I don't know if all these people have been tagged. I know I checked their channels and they don't have the video yet, so maybe just an extra kick in the pants. But Toxic Tiki slash 1833, Toxic Tiki 1833, they call him. Uh, Youngster Joey X, my boy, Youngster Joey X, and I Poke Chuckles or Ips or I Poke Chemecos, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so be sure to. Uh, check those guys out as well. I'll have them all linked in the description. And be sure to tell them to get this video done. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this gave you a little more... Ins excuse me. Had a little too much Pepsi. A little more insight to the channel. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to check out all those links in the description. See ya! Hello everyone and thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the links on the screen. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos as they come to your way. And if you want to go check out the GoFundMe, that'd be great too. Bye!